guess what I bought? That's Ada dropped off at her nana's. It is now two minutes to nine o'clock, which means that charity shop will be open in two minutes. I'm down this end anyway, so I'm gonna nip in and see if we can snag a couple of bits. I'm not expecting too much. I don't really need anything, but I'm here. Early start today, Kira. Right. How are you? You all right? All right, yeah. yeah. Grand. Nope. Nope. Robert's down there. Nope. A Roxy Bell. I just want to spice up my own wardrobe today. It's quite cool. And it's cheap. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> right, right, right. Some more Peter Christian. I don't know what's going on. Criminal damage. 750 shorts. Billabong. Seven. Try to think how much a pair of jorts are. <laughs> I don't get it. Let's have a look at that. Might be a pickup, you know. This is not a sound effect. Gonna be about two quid in that state, in there. I should imagine. Oh, I've just done some research into them, and even though they are cracked and battered, that is kind of what they're supposed to look like. Not as bad as that, but you know, they're a one -er. normally. That is just flaking off, though. I'm undecided. Good morning, flower power. Hello, my lovely. Is it okay if I see the other one of these boots to see what condition that one's in? Boots are made for walking. They're just tight, don't they? Someone's obviously been through the walls in them. Just one of them, it'll come up nice again. Okay, let me give them a bash. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. What's the worst case scenario? Break even. Worst case, best case. We do well. That goes between the legs, I think. What in the what is that? They're not the best price or condition, but I think there's a same day flip there for 12 to 15. If I'm buying a lot anyway, more as well. Yeah. One day I'm going to be able to save that past the fiver. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much. You Have a you good day. Much. Bye bye. 45 quid spend down to a 40 quid spend. I've took some chances on some stuff to be fair. But you'll see that I've actually brought a couple of bits to average the price down. So some £2 into 10s, some £2 into 7s, that kind of thing. Just to bring the average price on them risky items down. There we go. I did the lawn last night, so I've left it all out because I'm a gangster. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I think they're from yesterday. That could be a late defect. Fuck, how am that? I haven't even done that. Oh, my God. So I was so busy yesterday, I actually forgot to come back in the garage before the end of the night to close the night down and realised I forgot to... I've got two parcels sitting there and this one to do. This one doesn't have to go out today, but I've wrapped those yesterday, so I'm wondering... If they're going to be a late delivery, I don't know. So I'm going to have to get them sorted out first before I do anything. I'm going to finish packing that. All I've got to do is put some cardboard around that. I bubble wrapped it for myself yesterday to take away some jobs today. Fucking what an idiot. I'm just, all I can do is pray in it. Uh, the MacBook battery's low. Don't even know where the charger is. The charger's there for a start. We're having a wobbly start to this Wednesday. That's for the giveaway coming up. Nintendo DSi giveaway coming up in the next few videos. Lovely. Where's my tape? 
dispenser. Just going to use some of the silent tape. Silent tape. I got tucked up there, didn't I? I'm annoyed because in my head, my morning was planned out while I was shopping. Now I've had to come home to this uh, monstrosity. I like to use a bit of card just to press down on the void fill into a corner of the box so I know where I'm cutting to. Close that garage door because it's a bit too much that sound of that tape. Low noise is a load of bollocks. There we go. And turn that on for a start. Right, that's going to be five to ten kilos. That's annoying. Well, we've got a few more cells to pick out, so might as well grab them. The Metallica CDs have been picked up by a viewer of the channel, a friend of the channel, Rebecca. I really appreciate you, mate. £10 plus postage on these ones. These were from the car boot zone, I think, where I picked up the chest Lego. Really appreciate your business. Get these on the way to you shortly. You didn't give me any socials to plug or anything, but if you do have any, let me know. I'll do it on the next one. We cardboard these, I think. Cardboard, fold them. Cut some excess off. There we go. That should fit nicely into there. Should. It won't. Where's my big one gone? I've run out of big envelopes. Fine, I'll make my own padded mailer. Can't stop me. But wait, I am the universe trying to slow you down. Not asked. Can't hear you. Thank you, Rebecca. We'll go through what I picked up in a minute and you'll see the method to my madness. Maybe. I'm not going to pick those. They've got three more to pick, but I'm going to pick those tomorrow because I've got some stuff I need to get done. They don't have to go out yet. So we'll go and load those in the car and then we can start listing the stuff we picked up today. Because otherwise, this is how I fall behind. And I'm not falling behind today. No, 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 no. And I almost forgot the vintage sales. Big up Liam. He picked up the Wilson cap. It's packed away in this nice little thing to stop it getting any marks on it. The one that I picked up from the car boot sale for £3. Sold it for £5 on vintage just to move it on. And some nudie skinny jeans. Picked these up for £2 from the last two car boot sales ago. Sold for £19. <laughs> I really hope those two are not late deliveries. Oh, well, if they are, they are. What can I say, hey? Not much I can do about it now. No point letting it take over my brain. So I spent £44.95 in there with a £5 discount because I use my loyalty credit. Every time you spend £100, you get a £5 credit. And I get that credit quite a lot. So £39.50 or something like that. I can't what it was. Get my laptop up. We'll do a little bit of research as we go along. So no particular order. For £2.50, picked up a Fur Real Friends Rabbit. I am going to have to check to see if it's uh, in working condition or not. Normally, when they've got battery leakage, it does say as found. So I'm guessing, I'm assuming, this one's going to be okay. But I wouldn't normally pick stuff like this up. But I think this will get about £12 to £15 back on eBay. So that's going to start bringing down the average of some of my more riskier items. In fact, let's just get to the risky stuff. I say risky because of the price and condition of these items. So... For eight pounds, eight pound, I brought some Converse I mean, like metallic purple lilac -y trainers. They are a size so much tongue, so much lace. They're a size 4.5, paid eight pound. They're quite a rare little colorway. Structurally, they're sound, they just need a little bit of a cleanup look. So, I mean, like a little bit of glue showing just there, but structurally, they're sound. They're a little bit different, a little bit more unique. Eight pound. I'm hoping for a quick, quick flip on these, or I could list them for just below average and let them wait for a bit. I might just go for a set eight pound. I might try 15, 
I might try 15 to 18 pounds, see if I can make a few quid, six or seven, which brings the price down on the other risky bits again. But a lot of this stuff was like bought in consideration to the first two purchases I made, which was the pairs of shoes. I'll get to the ones in a second. House of Tweed purse, two pound. No idea on value, should we have a look? People are getting eight to 15, up to 20 pound for just a purse wallet. Really, really nice condition. Really, really good, two pound. So hopefully that's gonna start bringing down the cost average down. Picked up an ashtray. I don't know the brand, it was a pound. It's big and it had a brand name under there somewhere. So the Ravenhead Co Limited. So the same the same one with the clover leaf in the middle sold for seven pounds plus free postage from United States. So for a pound, it might just be a trinket jar for me. Butterfly twists shoes, ballet shoes. They fold up, they are in a remarkable condition. Really, really nice condition. They were three pound down to one pounds 50. Size 37. So they're a ladies size, not a kids. Again, if I can get eight to 12 out of these, it's just gonna bring the average down on the risky items. Roxy belt, Y2K vibes. It is a Roxy life. It's got that sort of punk rocker, um, punched holes all the way through it kind of thing. Little spell out on the front there, spell out on the clip there, and a spell out just down here. For two pound, I'm hoping eight to 12 back on that. This, I'll tell you what, the signal in there, I swear they've got reseller jamming capabilities, like network blocking or something. But the network in there is always horrendous. I had to stand outside for five to 10 minutes waiting for Google Images to load up on this to get this to go. But when I did, £3.25, people are asking around about 35 quid, depending on the size. I haven't done a full research into it yet. But what I did realise was £3.25 is a good pickup. No idea on the resale value of this, but for £1.75, Canadian Police Force number plate. Obviously, it's a placard. It's not actual number plate, vintage plate. Uh, normally get about a tenner for plates, but I'll see how much it's worth. But again, my main objective today was to bring down the average. But these were a nice little find. These were bought because they were worth it. So these are Boggy Milanos, but they are four pounds. They were only four pounds. They're a wool blend trouser. eBay job these are, not vintage or, any, or whatnot. eBay job these. Boggy Milano. They should be doing... 30 to 50 pound on these ones, especially being a wool blend. 98% wool, yeah, very, very nice indeed. So, nice little label to be looking out for. Four pound paid. And the last part of the Risky Biscuit purchases, this is my main reason why I bought the bunny and the ashtray and the glassware and the belt, was because I can flip them quickly for a lot lower than the market value because I've got no intention of holding on to them, which will then bring my spend down. These were 18 pound. Now, these are supposed to look a little bit tatty. I'll, oh no, I'll pick this up as well. I'll show you this first. No idea. 1997 Seattle thing on the Yonkers tag. So that could be worth 10, 15. It could be worth two pound. But yeah, these are supposed to be a little bit like that. It's, they're, they're oil painting. They're a copy of an oil painting. Can't remember the one. Something to do with resilience um uprising and lies or something like that but they are supposed to be a bit tatty but i think these ones are just a bit more tatty than the tatty they're supposed to be although inside it's like a brand new shoe in there it's like a brand new shoe so 18 pound was paid all the ones that i'm seeing online do have this flaking crinkling effect i think it's supposed to but it is i think this one's gone further than what it's supposed to yeah so that's why it's a bit risky I'm always going to get my £18 back for them regardless. I am going to try and clean them up because there's a lot of muck on them and I think a good wipe over should see these shine a little bit more. Apparently they're really, really, really rare. I'll put a screenshot up here so you can see what I found out about them. Apparently they're really hard to come by. Brand new, you're looking at 300 quid. Pre-owned in really good condition, up to 200 quid. So I thought for £18 in a bit of a rough condition, but DMs normally are supposed to be rough. And these are supposed to represent some kind of revolution or something, if I was remembering rightly. So, uh, you know, you're gonna get your toes dirty, ain't you, in a revolution. I just wish more of the UK was wearing revolution boots right now. But yeah, they're gonna need tightening up. They're gonna need cleaning, wiping down. That's probably dog shit under there. <laughs> Fuck it out. And they're gonna need sorting out. But do you understand my method now when I'm saying, I found some items and I wanna bring the price down. So I buy loads of quick selling, lower priced items. 
if that stuff there was probably going to sit there like this forever this for real friends if i list that for 12 quid quickly it's probably gone and after fees and postage that's going to give me another four quid down so them dms become 14 pound this glass one if it is going for 35 quid if i list it for 20 and get it gone after fees and postage it's probably going to be another seven quid down so them dms then become seven pound the average price on these being resold is 12 to 15 if i list them for nine or eight pound because it cost me one pounds 50 after fees and postage there's another few quid almost them dms are almost risk-free at that point and then whatever i do sell them for it's gonna be pure profit but then i've got these nice little boggy trousers and a few other little bits and pieces and then they put them the converse do you know what i mean i'm sure you can understand my method but yeah there's my pickups i am going to go and have some breakfast in a minute i'm going to have some toast i made some more bread yesterday i did start doing wholemeal not a big fan of it to be honest with you but it tastes nice and it looks nice and it smells nice i just really prefer a nice soft white loaf so i'm going to go and hammer some of that in a minute before i crack back on with work so all i'm going to do with these is give them a nice quick little scrub up just to take off the edge some of that like surface wear and stuff that's on there just to really i don't know spruce it up i'm not going for perfection here at all whatsoever just sprucing tiny little difference there's one i've done there's one i haven't that's all i'm going to do and around the edges i wish you and your sharp little claws would find a whole new bed to go sit on through the day anyway there we go tied up just a little bit snap some photos up and get them shifted all right moment of truth i've stuck some batteries in him are you gonna work what do you even do pinch the floor have i turned him on hold on i think my batteries are dead i need to go in the house and get some more three just what i need perfect all right come on then it's not the first time I've had to find some AA batteries for a rabbit. Come on. Let's try it now. What do you do? Press that. What do you do? Am I doing it wrong or something? Is it shagged or what? Strike it. Shake it. Turn some more buttons. Connect. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, I think it works. It is going to need a hell of a lot more looking into than that, though. Got a battery? Looks a bit disabled, though, doesn't it? One of his legs are bent and stuff. Do you know what? I've had enough of that one today. I don't think that's taken much time at all. I am going to change that clock. I do enjoy having a clock in the background because when I'm editing, I can see how fast I'm working. But that's everything apart from the Dr. Martin's boots and the ashtray because I'm not going to bother listing the ashtray, I don't think. Photographed. No, I just got to list it. So that's them cleaned up. That's the best I'm going to get them. That's the most effort I'm going to put into them. I literally just wiped all the dirt off around the edges. Give them a quick wipe over on the top. You have to be careful. It's almost like fish scales or stroking a dog. You've got to find out which way the grain goes and then wipe down with the grain. So that's all I'm going to do with these now. That is it. I'm going to get them listed and hopefully get a nice quick flip. So I'm going to price them competitively, but I am going to do some research into the condition, see what the average condition is over time, see how bad they get and see like roughly how far these are. Does that make any clear sense to you guys? But that is what I'm going to do not too bad and i can't actually draw the competition for this one because i only released a video at 6 30 in the morning this morning or 7 30 and it's now only quarter past 11 so we haven't given many people opportunity to enter so i will draw that on the next video i'm going to give that dsi a little clean up today give it a proper test up and get that sparkling and get that ready to enter into a new competition but until then please do like the video and check to see if you are subscribed i'm trying to grow this channel as you can tell i do have plans and they're going to be epic thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye